Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see another concept about shell programming. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to use until and select loop conditions. So let's start today's session. In previous session, we have seen how to use while and for loop. These are the type of loops we have already seen. The rest, two types of the loop such as until and select we are going to see in today's session until loop the while loop is perfect for a situation where we need to execute a set of commands while some condition is true so this is kind of scenario where in your you have to implement logic where after certain condition is true you have to execute some logic in that case while loop is appropriate but in some cases we don't need to execute a set of command until a condition is true means you have to check that condition at the end so at least first loop has to be executed so in that case we can use the until command so until command then we have to use the do then the the logic which we want to execute and then end it with the done command example here is hash bang bin sh we have to define where we are going to define a variable a we can assign some value or we can get input from command line then until the ex uh, the rectangular bracket open exclamatory mark that is not then input value less than 10 then rectangular bracket close do we are going to echo the value of the value a and then we are going to change the value of a by using expression a plus 1 and then we'll end it very straightforward very simple example so let's have a demo on it so in order to demonstrate this we have created we have created a file here the path is here unix and let me show you the file name is until so let's have a look on that until file so you can see it is very simple we have used uh, a variable and we are going to get the input from the command line then uh, until uh, command here we are just checking the condition whether the input variable is less than 10 if yes then print that and then increase the value by 1 and then loop this iteration until the value of variable a is less than 10 in order to execute this we can use search until and you can see the until loop it is asking some input value but the value is not provided so it is default default rating as a zero and it is executed if you use some value for example if I am use zero it will print from zero to nine if you choose suppose four it will start from four and end before ten that is the last value will be nine Similarly, you can choose any value <coughs> so you can see that it is getting started from there. So this is a very simple example of using until loop. This can be used in many cases in your business requirement while doing the shell programming. The next is select. Select is very interesting and very interactive and you must feel very uh, enthusiastic or very interesting while learning this select loop the select loop provides an easy way to create numbered menu so in order to create numbered menu you can use this select loop from which users can select options it is useful when we need to ask user to choose one or more atoms from a list of choices so we can provide options to users so users can select those options so select is very uh, interactive command the syntax is select where in then you can provide the variable names do then the statement which you want to execute or the logic one which you want to execute and then done it's very simple we have created this example I will explain you here so for that we have created select statement you can see the select uh, drink so we are providing options about drink so we are creating variable drink 
in is a condition and you can provide n number of options here there is no limitation so I'm providing options coffee tea water juice and if none of this criteria fills then none so we provided the options then we are going to do the do actions if user chooses one particular drink so that is the case here case if the drink in coffee or tea or water it will say drink is drink available if the user chooses drink as a juice then it pr it print it is going to print drink is not available sorry for inconvenience if user chooses none then it will just break the loop and it will come out and nothing will happen but if user chooses any other any other option which is not present in this list then it will give us error saying that error invalid option choose correct option and then it will execute by it will exit the loop by esac command and then we are completing the command with the done so we started with the do and completed with the done the case starts here and the ends at esac so these are the very very simple logic we implemented you can implement any anything in between this line so let's execute this so in order to execute you have to use sh and enter so you can see what are the option we have provided in the course it is getting numbered so first option is coffee second is tea third is water fourth is juice and fifth is none now you can see that number and question mark so user has to provide this number so first if I user provide number one it will print drink available if user provide three water that is drink available now suppose if you provide option four which is juice it should print drink is not available and it is correctly printing drink is not available sorry for inconvenience now user says okay I got the list but I don't want to choose any of this option that is none if you go to five and nothing will happen now suppose user by mistake print any other number like suppose six or seven it will say uh, sorry uh, it, it, it just executed so, uh, exited so <coughs> we have to run again it exited because of the command was successfully executed with the command 5 now suppose user prints uh, user give the action other than what are available option suppose 8 it says error command option invalid option choose correct option so by this way we can uh, interactively implement the logic in shell command so that user can provide the input from his end because sometimes if you are going to develop a shell script which is going to execute in different environments such as development QA or UAT or production in each environment the properties will be different so accepting the properties from the user is a better option so that it will work according to the each environment if you are, if you don't like the option one two three you can change the option by changing the ps3 command which we have seen this earlier tutorial so I'm not going to demo on that next is nesting loop nesting loop is a loop within the loop so one loop inside another similar one or different kind of loops such as you can loop the for within while or you can loop while within until etc so you can loop any kind of loop within it each other and that is called a nesting loop here example will be the while command one then do statement execute while command two then do then the statement to execute done and the you have to two times you have to done because you are running two times loops <coughs> sorry for that example here is we are going to define a variable and assign a value here is shown as a zero but you can accept as argument also then while uh, we are checking the input value is less than 10 this is the very first loop then we are going to do assign the create one another variable and assign the value of variable first variable to that newly created variable we are going to run while loop and in the while loop we are going to check the newly created variable is greater than zero 
sorry for this then this is this will get a second loop then execute do and then we are going to echo the value of b variable after that we will reduce the value of b variable by one and then complete the loop then we will do echo and then we will increase the value of variable a with plus one value so same thing we have written in the demo so let's have a demo on that In order to exit, you have to use the control C. So I just exited. I did exit. So in order to check nested, so we have created nested loop.sh. You can see the I am creating variable with uh, getting the input from the uh, argument. Then doing the first loop, second loop, printing the value of B here, then reducing the value, then done for the first done, first do, then echo just to go to the next line then changing the value of variable a with increasing by one so let's execute and see what happened so in order to execute you have to provide some value because if you don't provide a value you will get unary, unary operator expected so you have to provide some variable so if you provide zero you can see how the numbers are getting printed by using first loop and the second loop you can provide three also that's it will start from three if you provide four it will start from four if you provide suppose more than 10 what will happen i'm providing 30 nothing will happen because the first loop itself will not satisfy but if you provide suppose eight it will start from the eight so the, by this way you can print the variables or the values as per your need so if you want to provide some negative value let's see if you're providing negative value it start with zero suppose if you want to start with negative 10 it will just print the lines because we have the echo statement and it will start from the zero because the second loop start with the from the zero that is the reason i hope this tutorial is going to help you to create um, your business logic using until and select loop if you have any questions or queries about Unix, then you can mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching my video. If you like my video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice time.